So if you use your phone for producing videos for YouTube or any social media and things like that, then these new microphones here from Hoem are gonna really help you improve that quality and make it more professional. Hey everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. Now then, good quality sound is more important than good quality video. The phones nowadays, their video capabilities are friggin' awesome, but they still do lack that thing when it comes to sound, and that's because they're using the internal mics. Now, there's nothing wrong with using it, but you will get background noise and be a bit fuzzy and things like that and not really clear. And you get the same thing with professional cameras and everything else. That's why people invest in microphones. Now, these microphones here from Hoem, they're wireless ones and they've just been released. And in today's video, what we're going to be doing is giving them a good old test to see whether or not they're worthwhile buying or they're the right thing for you. Now, although they're designed specifically for phones, they might actually be that versatile that it'd be the only mic you need to use. I'm not saying they're going to be the best quality in the world, but I think from the results I've got from it, they're pretty damn good. Plus, you can use them on mirrorless cameras. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share a little secret with you that I found out that you can use it on that nobody's actually talking about. And it's not even mentioned in the instruction. So Hoem, if you're listening to this one, then you might want to change your instruction booklet, include that little secret in it. So let's have a closer look at them before we give them a good old test. So the first thing you're going to notice inside the box, putting the instructions to one side, is how small this little carry case is. It's nice and compact and you keep everything in there. It saves you losing things. Plus, it doubles up as a battery bank for keeping them charged. And as you can see, the transmitters and microphones are absolutely minute. You'll easily be able to hide them amongst your clothes. You'll see here you get two transmitters, which is gonna make it perfect for interviewing or for doing weddings and things like that. And as you can see here, you can stick a little SD card in there that's gonna give it internal recording. And that's a godsend, a nice little touch. Inside the internal box, you get a little charging cable and a couple of wind muffs, which slot on here nice and easily from when you're out in the field. And what I will be doing is a wind test with these as well, because it's pretty windy over here in the UK. Um, the batteries themselves will last up to a 20 hours, and they've claimed that they've got 100 meters, yes, 100 meters range. That's when it's in line without obstacles and things like that. So we'll give that a good old test as well. And they're really easy to set up. They come with either the USB-C connection, which I believe Apple have gone to now, but that's what I've got for my Google Pixel 8 Pro and they do come with lightning if you've got those older connections. So when you go and order a set, make sure you order the right connections. There'll be links down below in the description for it if you wanna get a set yourself. And the other great thing is they're simply plug and play. There's no need for an app, none of that flapping about and getting the app up and doing that. You just literally plug them in, switch them on and off you go. And by the way, if you've got a case like this decent one I've got here on mine, what you might have to do if it's thicker like this is actually take the case off to connect it. It's something they could have fixed really. And Hoem again, if you're watching, it'd be nice if you had a little bit of an extension on there, then you wouldn't have to remove your cases and things like that. But setting that aside, if you've got a slimline one, it will fit in nicely. So once you've fitted it in like this, you just slot it into the USB-C connector and simply go to where your mic settings are and put it onto wired mic. And then all you need to do then is switch on the mic transmitter and you're ready to go. And on the top here of the transmitter, you can actually see that you can put your own microphone in there. So what you can do is hide this in your pocket and then hide the wire up inside your clothing and just clip the mic on the top here. It also has a button on the side here, which I think is pretty impressive, okay, is for noise cancellation. So it blocks out those background noises and people shouting and things like that, which is pretty damn good. And we'll give that a test as well. And on top of that, there's another button there, which actually sets off a reverb on it, which is good for all you budding singers. And another nice touch here is that this power button on the side here also acts as a shutter button. So if you want to take a photo from a distance, you just press that and it fires away. But also like this here, if you stood a distance away from it, you can actually start the video recording and stop it. Let's get on with some of the testing. Right, so the test we're gonna do, we've got the phone and I've also got the Osmo Pocket 3 here so that can follow me around. You'll see I've got three mics on here. The reason being is we've got the Canon set up over there so that we can see what we're gonna do. First off, we're gonna test the phone in selfie mode without any mics on it whatsoever. Then we'll test it with the mics on. And then what we'll do is we'll do a little walk around in here in the garden to see what it sounds like, see if there's any breakup on that. 
and then we'll do the um, test where we go 100 meters down the road down there and then we'll give it a little test to see what's going on. The reason I'm taking this with me is I'll have the microphone on this one so that when I'm talking, if this one does break up and doesn't give it away, at least I've got that there for reference and I can show you in the videos in a second. So let's get on with the test. Oh, and by the way, I'll also do a test next to the hot tub here, yeah, with it all switched on so we can test the noise cancellation and things like that, see if that works out as well. Right, let's get on with them. There is the first test. What we're going to do is test the phone itself with no microphones attached, none of these attached on here. Okay, just the standard one that's on there. So let's switch over to that one. ABC, one, two, three, hopefully you can hear me. What we'll do now is we'll switch the microphone on that's attached at the bottom to see if you can notice any difference. Right, we've got the Hoen microphone on now, so let's see if there's any difference in it at all. And I tell you what, even though I've got my shorts on, it's bloody cold out here. So, um, ABC, one, two, three, hopefully you can hear me. If you can notice a difference in it, let me know in the comments down below. Let's now do a test where I'm walking around the garden with this left over here. As you can see, we've got the phone over here, and what we're gonna do is walk around the garden and see whether or not um, it works and whether it would be good for if you're doing like action shots or doing any, um, I know, exercise stuff or going around the garden, pointing out different trees and things like that. Right, I'm gonna take the Osmo Pocket with me as well, just in case it fails, but we've also got the Canon R6 over there with another microphone on as well. So let's see how it goes. One, one two, three. Right, so just walk over to this tree over here. This is called a conifer or a leandi. Over here we have a nice palm tree because we're in the southwest of England and it is sunny around here, as you all probably know. We've got some holly trees down here. We've also got some lights hanging down, which um, I should bloody well fix because you might get electrocuted. And we've got a nice little willow tree here, which has got to get its leaves on yet. So that's me walking around the garden, seeing whether or not it picks up the sound really well. What we're doing in a second is we're gonna test the 100 meter test. We're gonna go down the bottom of the road down there. But first off, let's do some noise cancellation ones to see if that works. We'll switch the hot tub on and see whether or not it cancels it out. So we're sat by the hot tub here, we've got it on full. Uh, I'll just put the microphone down to it so that you can hear it, just in case it is already cancelling it out. Can you hear that going? Right, so it is a test with no cancellation whatsoever. A, B, C, one, two, three, hopefully you can hear me. We're going to do the standard noise cancellation now and see whether that cuts it out. So all you do is press the button on here once and it goes to a green colour on there. So this, is, so this is a test with a standard noise cancellation on. A, B, C, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me. We're gonna put the maximum one on now and see if it cuts it out as any better. So you press it once more, okay? And it goes like an orangey color on here. So this is a test with the full, um, so this is a test with a full noise cancellation on. A, B, C, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me. And what we're going to do now is an old 100 meter test, see whether or not it works going down the road. Then that'll be it, back into the studio to see what the results are. See you in a sec. So we're going to do the 100 meter test now. We've got the Canon R6 set up there to film me going all the way down the bottom there where that flag is, okay? And we've got the phone down there. We'll switch over onto the phone microphone right now. I'm going to walk down 50 meters first then I'll go to the 100 metres and we'll test it down there as well. Okay, so see you in a sec. Don't know if you can hear me or not, but... We're walking on down here, gone past that first flag, and what we'll do... Here's a test at 50 meters. Hey, BC, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me. See in a sec. Right, so we're now down here at 100 meters. This is a 100 meter test. 
I did run, so I'm a little bit out of breath. But ABC, one, two, three, hopefully you can hear me. Right, let's get back into the studio and see if it worked or not. So there you go, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I think they're pretty good. They're not as good as my DJI ones, and I wouldn't expect them to be, especially for the price and things like that. I love those, I'll always go back to them. But these are the sort of things that I'm always gonna have in the bag as a, basically as an extra there, or if I wanna give them to somebody else to use while I'm out and about. But all you people that use phones and things like that, these are so much better because of how small and compact they are. And yes, I can see in the comments down below that people are gonna say, yeah, but you can do that with the DJI ones and things like that, but they are so much more bulkier than these. Now I said, I was gonna let you into a little secret, didn't I, at the end of it? Well, that is the fact that not only do these actually connect to a uh, mirrorless camera and things like that, you will need a battery supply for that for going mirrorless cameras and just looking like this. And if you've got any questions on that, like I said, let, let me know in the comments down below. But I didn't know that you could actually record audio to your remote control on your DJI drones. And what this little beauty can do here is just slot in the bottom and then actually fire away and you can be doing audio talkovers when you're doing like um, inspections or you're flying around and you want to raise some comments and things like that. Also, if you just want to get the ambient sounds while you're out and about. And what I'll be doing is a quick little video because there's a few things you have to play around with the settings. And I'll leave a link up here when I've made that one for you. And if you found this useful in any way, shape or form, do all that usual YouTube stuff. And I would strongly recommend if you're looking for a wireless mic and check out some of these videos over here where I've been testing loads of different versions. Stay safe out there, everyone. Keep creating, have some fun, and above all, keep smiling. See ya.